and we back. Today we are randomizing one player on each team's overall. We might see the best player on the team turn into a 50 or the worst player on the team turn into a 99. All that is a possibility in today's video. Okay, so this is how it's gonna work. It's a lot going on here, but let me explain. The one that's right here has the numbers 50 to 99. It's going to be our overall. And the one above us has the number 1 through 15, which is the roster spot. Starting off with the 76ers, we are getting the second best player. So Tobias Harris might turn into a bum. Oh, he's just getting a, a, a little bit worse. <laughs> How anticlimactic is that? So the way we're doing this, we'll take Tobias Harris... And we're just going to do like this until he is down to an 82. 76 is get a little bit worse. And we move on to the next team, which is the Milwaukee Bucks. And we're going to have the seventh player, which is George Hill. He's going to turn into an 86 overall. George Hill is getting better than even the prime version of him. And an 86 overall. That turns him to the third best player. And now Drew Holiday is coming off the bench. I would probably start them both together. I'll probably start them both together. That's if I was running the team. I'm not running the team, but if I was, Drew Holiday's defense with George Hill's, I guess, elite three-point shooting. Now it's up to a 90, 94. They should be running together. The Bucks got better today. Now, I'm going to be doing this three different years. We're going to do one year, simulate, see who goes where in free agency. Do it again. See who go where in free agency and do it again, okay? So now we got the Chicago Bulls. Please make us better. Please make us better. We get the ninth best player, Tony Bradley. Okay, let's see what Tony Bradley's going to end up doing. Oh, that's the tank job. Um, Tony Bradley drops down to a 59. But you know what? I would argue that ain't as bad as what it could be. We could have saw Zach Levine end up at a 59. But instead, we get a rotational player who's now one of the worst players in the league. That's not that big of a deal. Next, we have the Cleveland Cavaliers. They could use somebody elite, elite. The 10th player, which is Dean Wade. Uh-oh. Oh. I thought we was about to get the Mike Team version of Dean Wade. But instead, we get like... I don't know, the high school version of Dean Wade? That's if Dean Wade was going against NBA players in high school. Next, we get the Boston Celtics. Jason Tatum. Hopefully, we don't change JT. Okay, ninth player. Hayden Pritchard is going up to a 92 overall. All of those worries about the point guard position for the Boston Celtics are over with because Peyton Pritchard is now one of the best players in the entire league and the best player on the, the, the Boston Celtics. He has a 99 three-pointer, a 99 close shot. He can't dunk still. But what is his shot tendency? At a 50. Ooh. I mean, we're going a couple years into the future. So maybe he'll be an MVP candidate one day. But the age of 23, he is now a 92. And the Boston Celtics look like one of the better teams in the league even more now. Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers are getting a 13th player. This is the best case scenario. Because the 13 best player is not getting rotational minutes anyway. So if he drops down to a 50, no harm done. But if he jumps up, now you got another good player. That is Keon Johnson, 19-year-old rookie, is now a 71. So actually, um, he got he got worse. But again, he wasn't a rotational player anyway. Which would get Zaire Williams, another 19-year-old rookie. Oh, he gets one overall better. Third best player, John Collins could be plummeting. He will. He's going to go down to a 69 overall. They just paid this this brother. And now he's just a lob threat. It says he is specifically a lob threat. He can't do nothing else. He's not even going to be playing, bro. Solomon Hill is getting minutes over him at this point. And you're paying him max, max, or close to max money for the next four years. So that is a big L for Atlanta basketball. The Heatles. Well, I always want to say Heatles. It's not the Heatles. Six player. Is going up to an 80. That is Duncan Robinson. Um, he is already one of the best three-point shooters. And now he's even better at the three-point ball, which gets him up to the fourth best player when he was the sixth best player. So improvement. Charlotte basketball is getting the seventh best player, going to a 56. Yikes. That is Kelly Oubre. Man, he came off a, a relatively rough last year in the Golden State Warriors. He was looking to get better here in Charlotte, and he basically is going to retire next year. Because I, I I don't I don't even know what he's gonna do at this point. Utah Jazz sixth player is is terrible. Seventh player for the Sacramento Kings is going up. Oh my God! Justin Thompson is turning into the um, 2015 NBA Finals version, where he is now an 82 overall. Right? 2016. Ah, I was wrong. 2016 version of himself, and he's now the second best player on the team. Rashawn Holmes move over. Tristan Thompson's here to shoot close. Do some standing dunks and what else? What else? What is you here to do? Um, catch the ball. Well, okay, his hands are still like okay. Um, wh what else can you do? Okay, rebound. We knew he was a great rebound. Now it's even better. New York Knicks, you're getting the eighth player to go down 
Oh, and it's Emmanuel quickly. I hate to see that, bro. One of the young promising players on the New York Knicks is now um, still young, no longer promising. The Lakers. Y'all don't need more help. Oh, LeBron. Oh, oh. LeBron's going down to an 87. Okay, that actually hurts a lot because he's dropping almost 10 overall spots. So that's an L for them. Uh, now he's a pass first wing. He's still the second best player on the team, but I don't expect LeBron to go in and win an MVP award like he had been doing. Now we move on to the Orlando Magic who get their seventh player down. Robin Lopez. Ah, those great hook shots that we all fell in love with last year. They are they are dying. But at least he, his last step is his favorite place on earth, which is Disneyland. And at 33 years old, a 59 overall on the last year of his deal. Yeah, that, that's a wrap for his NBA career after this one. Dallas Mavericks. Sixth player going up, down, I don't know. Oh, Dora Fitty Smith. All right, we like Dora Fitty Smith on this channel. He is now a little bit better. He is now a complete 3 and D wing because his three-point rating is an 86, which is the same as Lucas, and his defense is even better. That's a W. I mean, who's going to start over him and Tim Hardaway Jr.? Put him at the four if you ask me, and you start Porzingis at the five. Next, you have the, oh, Brooklyn. What's happening in Brooklyn? Fifth player. Go down, go down. It's going down. Woo! I don't like when the rich get richer, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but it's LaMarcus, though. I like the story of LaMarcus all just coming back to the NBA, but now he's coming back to the NBA and being one of the worst players in the league. He's a prospect at the age of 35. He will be retiring. Denver Nuggets, eighth player. 93! Jermichael Green, out of nowhere, at the age of 31, is turning into one of the best power forwards in the entire league, one of the best players in the entire league. Now the front court is looking amazing in Denver. I would not be surprised if Denver was a championship. They have a 99 three-point shooter in Jermichael Green. And if I'm not mistaken, his defense should be pretty solid too. Permanent defense is up to a 73. Interior defense up to a 91. So he's a defensive anchor and... He's playing alongside Jokic. Come on. Next, we have the um, Indiana Pacers. Sixth player is going up to it. He's the best player in the league, whoever this is. Oh, my God. It's TJ McConnell. I talked about this before, but when I am grinding a point guard build in NBA 2K22, I refuse to go against TJ McConnell because he is the best defensive player in the world. And now he is the best player in the world. Indiana Pacers, well, you got it. Um, he is now a 90 eight overall and he is on a bargain of a deal three years 24 million dollars he is the best shooter in the league best post fade in the entire league i mean his defensive numbers are going to be ridiculous the only problem is his shot tennis is pretty low right 45 in due time when you're that good you're gonna find a way he is the best player in the entire league tj mcconnell is the new goat I mean, I'm not going against TJ McConnell, bro. He's basically 99 everything. Oh, you're talking about the rebounder for the 6'1 point guard? Oh, he's better than Tristan Thompson, who was already great at that. The lateral... Qu oh, defensive player of the year. I'm getting defensive player of the year vibes. Now, at 29 years old, I think that his tendencies can change, but I don't think his badges will change. So, so he's zero finishing, zero shooting right now. We will come back to see that at the end of the year. But TJ McConnell is now the best player in the entire league. The Pelicans... The fifth best player is going down. Josh Hart, another player that signed an extension this offseason. Well, he is bad. Detroit's third best player is going up to a 93. Sadiq Bey. Woo! Sadiq Bey is a legend, man. I interviewed him on a live show when he right the day after he got drafted. And he was such a cool dude. I couldn't help but to root for him. And he turned out to be one of the better rookies, too. And now he is the best player in Detroit. So now they got 22-year-old Sadiq, 19-year-old Cade, 20 year old isaiah stewart and we're doing three years of this video so who knows they could get even better in year number two and year number three this might be a championship quality team in a couple years once all the pieces start coming together next we have the toronto raptors they're getting their fourth player which is chris boucher down uh, just a couple but still down that's not great next team we have is the houston rockets the 12th player, oh, so we're getting um, Daniel House going down to a 70. Not that big of a blow for them either. Now we get the Spurs, who have the 10th player dropping. Drew Eubanks, sorry, you have to be um, one of the worst players in the league. You might retire at the age of 24. I'm sorry, you have to do that to your NBA career. Next, we have the 12th player for the Suns is going up. That's, hey, that's the team that's trying to win a championship. It's Alfred Payton. Um, so he left the Knicks and got better. Two-way slash and play. That's cool. That sounds like a build I would have in 2K. 15th player for the OKC Thunder is now low-key. He going to turn into one of the better players. Oh, it's this guy whose name I never learned how to pronounce. 
I know he went to, oh my God, what college did he go to? I, I remember seeing him play in a ton of NCAA tournaments. Virginia, yes, yes. I just remember the blonde hair. I remember the blonde haired big man. Um, so now we have the Timberwolves. The fourth best player is going down. They cannot afford that in Minnesota. I would want it to see Minnesota go up, but unfortunately, I don't control these type of things. It's NRG, NRG, RNG, RNG, random number general, RNG. NRG is like an organization that signs content creators and stuff. Damian Lillard is going down to an 88. Yikes. Um, Portland. I mean, he could still potentially make an all-star game, but those championship aspirations are going away. So, uh, eighth player for the Warriors going down. And that is um, 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 Bielitsa, who at this point, you know, ain't doing much anyway. So it's not that big of a blow. It's one like they lost one of the best players. And the last team, Bradley Beal, is now one of the worst players in the league. Yikes. That is unfortunate. Um, he is not even a rotational player. But he's on the last year of his deal. Is Bradley Beal going to retire at the age of 28? I don't know. But like I said, we were doing this multiple times. So we will see who will become the NBA champion from this version of the roster. Then we come back. Let me make sure I hit save. And, and I'm going to save it under Ben Simmons simulation, which was... Um, Something that we dropped a couple days ago. If you missed that video, go check it out. I want to take control of the Indiana Pacers because uh, I want to see TJ McConnell's statistics now that he is the best player in the world. I'm legit though. Legit, TJ McConnell is the best player in the world. Like, before I even adjusted this overall, that was a consensus, right? Everybody knew that TJ McConnell is the best in the world. Hey, the Pacers look nice, bro. The Pacers look really nice. Um, now, watch just 2K completely get rid of all of that though. They're still going to make this team bad. First game, TJ McConnell, the new star. Oh, triple-double. All right, so playoff team for this um, TJ McConnell led. Oh, he's untouchable, by the way. I didn't do that. That was them. Five-star value, TJ McConnell. You know what I'm saying? His numbers on the year, triple-double average, 60% from the field, 100% or 100 from the free throw line, 50% from three. He should be taking more shots. Hopefully, next year, his shot tendency goes up because he deserves to shoot more than just averaging 15 or so points per. What else did we learn? George Hill. Great. Not not the prime version of himself, but still pretty good. Peyton Pritchard, 13-7-7. and 13-6.9 and 6.9. Peyton Pritchard, you know what you're doing out there. <laughs> you know exactly what you're doing out there. Um, but another player that shot Tennessee should go up in year number two. You know, some, some of these, like, real effects you won't see until the, the beginning of next year. Tristan Thompson. Oh, you suck. Why? You should be, you started. You're supposed to be getting a lot of rebounds. What the heck? I'm just looking for the players that got better, by the way. Um, because, like, if I look at the players that got worse, like, Emmanuel quickly, he's not even playing. You know, we saw him drop it. He's not even playing. So, oh, LeBron is still putting up really good numbers. I mean, he's LeBron. But he's only shooting 30% from three because his three-point rating went down significantly now that we took it away. I mean, LeBron was starting to learn how to hit the three-point shot more and more every year. Now he's back down to a 70, which is basically where it was at for a lot of his NBA career. I will see where they at in the standings. Um, who else got better? Oh, Dorothy Smith got better. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit better. It's three-point percentage is higher. That's good. So, Michael Green, 15 and 11. Another player who shot Tennessee should go higher. We already saw TJ McConnell. Sadiq Bay, 20 points, 10 rebounds per 50, 40, almost 99 club for Sadiq Bay. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Um, who else? Who else? The, the more, majority of people go down? I think majority of people went down now that I'm looking at this. Uh, Damian Lillard, he still averaged about the same amount of points per. So even though he went down, it didn't really matter. And then, yeah, like Bradley Beal is now the worst player in the league. He's not even getting PT. Imagine averaging 31 points per game and then the next year just not getting any nods whatsoever. That's exactly what happened to Bradley Beal. Okay, now the last thing we want to do is look at a... No, you know what? Nope, nope, nope. Let's save that to the end of the season. Let's see who makes the playoffs and see who doesn't. Giannis, okay. None of the awards necessarily change other than uh, Peyton Pritchard now being the most important player. And not TJ McConnell. I legit thought that TJ McConnell would be a player that went most improved player. Like, wait, let's let's take a look at well, okay. He did average a triple double. He averaged a triple double on great splits. I mean, Peyton Pritchard did his thing too, but like, come on, bro. You're gonna get most improved player to a year two player. That don't happen often in NBA history. It does not happen often in NBA history. Do we have any new players hitting? Oh, TJ McConnell on NBA second team, though. So he went from a role player to NBA second team, and that is not enough to win most improved? They bug him. Um, LeBron's still on NBA third team, even though he dropped in um, 
yeah yeah so defensive teams any new players tj mcconnell is usually not there and we didn't see a lot of change when it comes to things um take a look at standings maybe we see some change there brooklyn okay these are all usual suspects sacramento kings are in the play-in phoenix fell off even though i think they got better if i'm not mistaken i think phoenix got slightly better alfred payton got better and they fell off from a championship quality team to being in the play-in they see who wins the championship and we go into year number two and then we do the exact same thing the championship team is going to be the bucks a little back-to-back -back action but you saw jermichael green led team no not led but a jermichael green team ended up in the finals now the free agency period should be interesting because some of the players that got better hit free agency oh no 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 no! i want to see if like bradley bill and them retired um player retirements okay mellow okay okay these are usual suspects lamarcus aldrich we saw him drop and he retired so free agency jermichael green going back to the nuggets there it is okay never mind i thought jermichael green was gonna be one of those players and then it looked like michael porter jr is going back to the nuggets too so they just revamped their entire team or or got everybody back tristan thompson had a good year and he's not getting no offers whatsoever so let's go to the beginning of next season and i'm gonna bring up my random numbers and we're gonna do it one more time through and see hey we might see a team that was a bottom feed the last year be even better we might see it starting off with the 76ers where you at philly 76ers this is what their team looks like nowadays it's pretty much this actually it's all the same other than um montrez is here and here are our generators okay 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 they have the eighth player on the team is doing something oh seth curry's going down by one that's not good philly fans there you go next we have the the milwaukee bucks to see what you get fourth best player down one two three four oh th the wheel giveth or the random number giveth and taketh away. They gave y'all George Hill. Y'all won a championship. But now they're taking away the player that we all know and love, Drew Holiday. He is now one of the worst players in the entire league. Tragic. Patrick Williams. Oh, this is the year for P-Pat. Oh, not P-Pat. Pat Will. P-Pat is Patrick Patterson. Jesus Christ. He's up to a 94. The Chicago Bulls are back. 99 overall three for patrick williams you love to see that as we continue to go through these things i won't show y'all the mediocre ones like the 10th best player going down it's not that important so i'll show you the important ones if somebody really good goes worse or somebody really bad gets better anything in between i won't show the margins just accept the fact that a 72 overall is now has to be a 69 or something like that got me got it cool the most valuable player in nba history just became more valuable Memphis Grizzly gets Alec Burke, who they signed on a one-year deal. They didn't know he's about to break out, but he is. They got a big three now because Alec Burks is here. And a shot, Tennessee, a little below average, but still about average, which is good. Oh, my God. Um, 94 overall for your seven. He basically was killing the game overseas, dropping 90 points per. And now he has the opportunity to do that in real life. Um, Bam, I'm going to do them a favor. They can, they can do what they want with it. I'm going to make Bam secondary position to power forward because no way Bam should be a six-man. James Booknight up to an 88 overall breakout sophomore season for Booknight. His shot tendency should be high. He's going to come in and really, really hoop. That's a W. A second-round pick rookie. Second-round pick rookie. 94 overall. Rudy Baylor. Please tell him, oh, his shot tendency is a little below average, but still... He's going to win rookie of the year. If you don't win rookie of the year, this team should be a championship quality team now. Donovan Mitchell won getting it done by himself, and now he got Rudy Baylor. Oh, my God. I'm like, cry. I'm like, no, legit, my allergies are kicking my butt. So, yeah, my eyes are watering, but it's not because of this. It's because of my eyes, uh, my, uh, my allergies. Um, Derrick Rose is going back to MVP form at the age of 34. He already got the badges. Shot Tennessee? Already got the shot Tennessee. He got the badges. Kevin Walker, step up to the side. You're not the sixth man, buddy. Oh, LeBron. LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. Um, he was already regressing, but now it's like, yikes, LeBron. It's like, I might retire after the season type type numbers. I'm sorry. The domination of LeBron James has officially ended. Unfortunate. Oh, Luka. It's 80 overall for Luka now. Wow. Wow. This is supposed to be a year where he's supposed to take over, and he will not be doing that. He's still going to put up good numbers because he's got crazy shot tendency, but man, Luka fall from grace. Cam Thomas who has already showed in preseason and in summer league that he can score the heck out of the ball. The rich just got way richer. We took away LaMarcus from them last year, but now 
they have a new small forward if they gonna play him there you know what i'm gonna give it to him they can have it and i'm actually gonna make sure he is only an 89 and not a 90 so you're not beating the system yeah yeah look at this and now they have click capella all of a sudden i don't know how they did it but they did it hey this thing is crazy Compazzo is up to a 92 bro we are not seeing a lot of people go go down I told y'all, hey, I'm only going to show you when, when bad players go up. Yada, yada, yada. You're getting that. New big three here in Denver. Jesus Christ. TJ McConnell, your teammates, six. 91, do you see this? This is not rigged. 91. 91 for, for uh, Miles Turner. Wow. I mean, TJ, this is pretty big. Scotty Barnes going up to an 87. That's, that's a W, man. Scotty Barr is already about to take over the league at 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Kevin Porter Jr. Remember when the Cavs traded him away for two second round picks, but none of but not really, though? Well, now he is the, the best player on this team. And his shot tendency is already high. Yeah, I, hey, I don't want to rub it into the Cavs fans' faces, but geez, in this simulation, that is rough because the Cavs ain't got much better. Ooh. Oh, yikes. Oh, it's Alfred Payton, though. So, like, who cares? But, like, ah, Kevin Porter Jr. jumping up. A steal. 88 overall. Now, I don't even know if this is a real person or not. I, cu I couldn't tell you. Oh, let's see. 19 overall. Fifth. Oh, fifth overall pick. 19-year-old fifth overall pick in this year's draft. So, they got a rookie to come in and be the best player on the team. Oh, second best player because Shea is still here. My fault. Shea is here with this guy. And um, they about to take over. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Fifth overall pick coming in. That one rookie that plays for the Jazz, he got a little bit of competition. Just a little bit of competition. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jared Vanderbilt. Oh, now his tendencies aren't going to be high, but he might mess around and win Defensive Player of the Year with these type of stats. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the tendency? Ah, the tendencies are terrible. But Jared Vanderbilt is now the best player on this team. They're going to be in the playoffs. If they ain't in the playoffs, bro, that's that's tragic. Bro, the wheel is like, or the, this random number generator is ridiculous. I feel like everybody got an extra 90 overall player. Larry Nance Jr. is the guy now. And the very last team. Uh-oh, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Very last. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Very last team. 13. Oh. So, yeah. That's that's not. Oh, Bradley Bill is still here. Oh, because he's under contract. He will retire after this year. So, let me remind you. TJ McConnell is still the best player in the league. He actually has 62 badges now. He got better. He had like 15, maybe? And now he has um, 60. And his shot tendency went up. So, yeah. Um, TJ McConnell is about to win an MVP award. Um, don't worry about it. it. It is what it is. He's got all of the best. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, you're not scoring against TJ McConnell. Um, then we have Jerry Vanderbilt. We have Sadiq Bey, who got 50 badges now. So, it seems like in their second. Oh, because when I'm doing this, when I'm making, like, all the stats go up, so is their potential. So, they're still going to be growing. Patrick Williams next year is going to have, like, 50 badges. Peyton Pritchard has 50 badges. Um, Yurt 7 will have 50 badges next year. Oh, my God. This league is incredible. So many 90s. I expect that half of the players to go up, half of the players to go down. I feel like majority of people went up. Jokic wins it. Oh, okay. I wouldn't expect that low-key. The, the OKC rookie was a dog, bro. 20 and 10, two assists, almost two blocks and a steal. LeBron is now a six-man. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Patchy Williams, most improved. 23, 10, and 2 and a half. 50, 40, 99 club. Steve Nash, coach of the year. All NBA teams. TJ McConnell, what did you do, buddy? What did you do this year? Triple double. He averaged a triple double with 19 points. All right. All right. Who else? Who else ain't supposed to be here? Kevin Porter Jr., 27, 8, and 7. Oh, 50, 40, 90. Larry Nance. 23, 10, and 5. Bro, Larry Nance Sr. Is, is just like smiling his butt off that, bro, my son did it. He finally did it. D. Rose. I forgot about D. Rose. 29, 5, and 6. Derrick Rose is back, baby. Patrick Williams, third team. Um, and then Yurt 7 from 0 points per game to 23. Jerry Vanderbilt from 5. Yo, that's insane. Defensive team, we got TJ McConnell. Great. Oh, Miles Turner was another player that went up 26, 9, and 2 uh yeah that, that, that's that's ridiculous rookie class rudy baylor didn't get it it went to to vlado Vla, vlado or something like that um so yeah the, i think this season was significantly better than last year significantly better than last year because um so many players went up like the stats went up you you got year number two of some players from last year they're better this year 
So yeah, here are the overall statistics if you were wondering. And I'm ready to see who's going to go out there and win that, that, win that title, baby. Who's going to win that title? Will it be somebody that we edited? I think it's going to be Brooklyn. It's no way it's not Brooklyn. But the Timberwolves made it to the finals. Jared Vanderbilt tried to do his thing. But like, I don't know how it's anybody other than Brooklyn. With Cam Thomas, and, and, and it's just, it won't, oh, LeBron retired. I can't imagine anybody else winning it because Brooklyn is so stacked. Let's see who's in free agency, man. I'm expecting some of the players that we put up to hit free agency market and um, potentially uh, cause some havoc. Uh, Yurt 7 is going to go back to the Heat as he should. Jokic going back to the Nuggets. Okay, restricted free agent Kevin Porter Jr. We'll see which one he accepts. Um, the Rockets might get Compazzo. You know what? Let's go a couple days in. Jokic went to the Lakers. Jokic went to the Lakers. Um, because they decided to bring back Compazzo and not the MVP. All right, the Kings got Larry Nance. The Lakers also get Miles Turner, who's a 91. Well, LeBron retired. And I guess Russell Westbrook is gone too. So they had two max spots and they brought in two centers. They brought in two centers. The Timberwolves get George Hill, so they got better. They were just in the finals. The, there's, yeah, Russell Westbrook went to the Pacers to be with TJ McConnell. Metu went to the, oh my God, so many players are switching teams. And y'all know what that means. Put them up on the screen. Put them up on the screen. Boom. Boom. They're back. The last season, who will win the championship? Who will get better? Who will get worse? Like I said last year, I'll show you highlights. We're not going through all 30 again, but um, let, let's start off. DeMar DeRozan is 34 years old, and uh, he is dropping down to a player that can no longer play. Tragic for my Bulls because we were we were building something. Oh, 94. Dylan Wendler, left-hand shooter, goes up to a 94 overall. There you go, Cavs fans. That you needed that one, man. Because nobody in your team was getting better as far as, like, us. Like, you do got Darius. You got Evan Mobley getting better. But, like, nobody from us were getting better. Um, and now you have Dylan Wendler who can run the three for y'all. So, you can have Darius Garland, Colin Sexton, Dylan Wendler, Evan Mobley, and Jared Allen? That sound like a potential playoff team, maybe? I don't know. Kawhi Leonard is going into a end-of-the-bench guy. Um... That is extremely unfortunate because, I mean, well, he'll still be a great defender. It says perimeter defender still. But, yeah, he's not even a rotational player anymore. They got four shooting guards at the top of their team. This team is going to win seven games in a year. Mark my words. Oh, my God. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Kavon Looney. Oh, my God. Kavon Looney is the greatest player of all time. He's going up to a 99. Oh my god. Imagine signing Kevon Looney on a literal minimum contract and he comes in and have a 99 everything. They got Book Knight getting better last year. Kevon Looney getting better this year. Can it be the, the, the Hornets time to progress to be amazing? Maybe. Clyde Payne. Um, I don't know who you are, buddy, but you're the second best player on this team now. Because they signed Larry Nance, who was an NBA player. The Kings have De'Aaron Fox, Tyrese Halliburton. They got Clyde Payne, who is a 20th overall pick, but do everything now. Um, low shot Tennessee, so that kind of sucks for them, but they got another great player. RJ Barrett is getting worse. Sorry, Knicks fans. I wanted to see y'all get some progression, but instead you got regression. This is a, such a weird team. They got an extra 90 overall player. Dante Monroe is hitting 90, um, but they got Miles Turner, Anthony Davis, and Nikola Jokic. Like, what are you doing? Is Miles Turner now a six man? He was just an all NBA player. And you got Dante now, too. So it's like, I, I don't know what's going on in L.A. Will they be a playoff team? We'll see. Cam Thomas. Oh, man. He had one amazing season. And now he is going back to where he started. That's so unfortunate. Imagine averaging 25 points per and then falling off the face of the planet. That's what just happened to Cam. The, the, this team, who we said was about to be elite level, for the next X amount of years, is no longer going to do that. Sergi Baca at 34 years old, glowing up to a 95 overall. That's that's good for this team. Um, DeAndre Aiden, they paid you a little bit, but you got to come off the bench now because neither of y'all... Oh, I guess Serge can run the four. Run Serge at the four with Chris Paul. Mikel Bridges, Serge at the four. Hey, hey, the Suns just... They were a terrible team last year. They might not be this year. Another 99. 14th player. Max Strauss. Strauss? From my area, or Illinois, I don't know exactly where in Illinois, but from Illinois, went to Stag High School. I guess the Paul II is what I learned recently. He is now tied. Oh, he can't even go higher than an 88. How is that possible? How, how, how is that even possible? I don't know. Well, that's the highest they allow him to go. 
He has a 99 everything, y'all. He averaged eight points per game here last year. What's your tendencies? Please tell me your tendencies are good. <sighs> Tough. He is tied for... Oh my God, him and Jared Vanderbilt about to destroy the league. They still got Ant-Man. They still got Carthy Towns. They were just in the finals last year. Minnesota, if y'all don't win it this year, y'all disappointed me. Honestly, y'all disappointed me. Seku! 84 overall, finally fulfilling that potential. Love to see that. Last one is the worst player gets to a 95. It's not Bradley Beal. Imagine if Bradley Beal would have got back up there, but instead it is uh, Kent Clement. 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 He is up to a 95 overall. And that is it. Now, all players, we have Kevon Loney, TJ McConnell, Jared Vanderbilt, Max Strauss, Sadiq Bey, Patrick Williams, who I told you was going to have 50 badges. And yeah, wow. The league is amazing. I mean, we got primetime TV every single night. Our MVP of the NBA is Jared Vanderbilt. Now, I would guess, oh, he started to hit threes, so shoot threes. I would guess that he also won Defensive Player of the Year. That would be my guess. Clint Clement, there you go. Miles Turner, six man. I said he's probably gonna have to run the six man. TJ McConnell becomes the first point guard since Gary Payton to win Defensive Player of the Year. That's history right there. And Yaka Kongu's most improved, 72 and 10 for the Timberwolves. So yeah, if y'all don't win it, the entire RNB first team is because of this video. There's no Jokic, Anthony Davis, James Harden, Kevin Durant. No, those players don't exist really no more. It's the Kevon Looney, Sergi Baca, Jared Vanderbilt, Kev Kevin Porter Jr., TJ McConnell show. KPJ averaged 26. We already saw MVP numbers. 21 and 11 for Serge. And the Kevon Looney averaged 24 after two years of not putting the ball in the basket in the NBA game. He jumped up to 24 and seven and a half assists. Jeez. Second team. Yep. This is because of us too. Rookie. This is because of us. Only player that's not here because of us is because of is John Morant. Larry Nance, second year in a row being on NBA. Uh, Yurt Seven ended up here too. Third team, Steph Curry and Joel are the only two here, not because of us. Like, come on, dog, we're here. All of this is us. The random number generator did great things for us, bro. What a video so far. Lastly, before we even see who is the champion, let's take a look around the league as far as overall statistics go. Sadiq Bey led the league in scoring with 26 points per and about 10 rebounds. He didn't even make an All-NBA team, so they must not have made the playoffs. Um, just a lot of players that we, we made better. So many players here just putting up really good stats. And so many players have multiple 90 overall players that you're like sharing the ball with, with other players too. Tim kind of an average his traditional triple double, but whatever. Steals per. Jared Vanderbilt, like I said. He almost averaged two steals, or he did average two steals, two blocks per. That's insane. Who's averaging the most shot attempts? Kevin Porter Jr. with 17. Who is going to win the entire playoffs? Minnesota, don't let me down. This is y'all year. It is. They lose one game on the on the, the streak to win the finals. And it wasn't even regular season MVP that won finals MVP, even though he had a 14, 10, 10, and 6 game. What? It was Matt Stra Stros who um, turned it up in the playoffs. That's, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, as always, be sure to leave it a like. It helps the channel out a bunch. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.